De Maurier is trying to make ground between horses. The outside is Motashi Kell and then Pulse of Shanghai. Racing off the elbow with a furling and a half to go. It's Cardini in front. Of in second place, Zhu Noon, who's trying hard. Then De Maurier and Motashi Kell and Pulse of Shanghai. Racing inside the final furlong. And it's Cardini striding on two in front of Zhu Noon. De Maurier is coming home towards the near side as they run towards the finish. Cardini within the centre. Zhu Noon. De Maurier is trying to make ground between horses. The outside is Motashi Kell and then Pulse of Shanghai. Racing off the elbow with a furling and a half to go. It's Cardini in front. Of in second place, Zhu Noon, who's trying hard. Then De Maurier and Motashi Kell and Pulse of Shanghai. Racing inside the final furlong. And it's Cardini striding on two in front of Zhu Noon. De Maurier is coming home towards the near side as they run towards the finish. Cardini within the center. Zhu Noon. Zhu Noon, Cardini and De Maurier has Declan McDonough and Dermot Wells started as they meant to go on. We'll wait for the judge. And going for a daring run up the inside and getting it is Lady Boomerang. It looks open with a furling and a half to go. And Lady Boomerang has worked her way through the field to pick it up. Which challenging on the near side, the blue cap of Global Pass. These two press on from Spanish Soprano who's running on. And then comes Mnemonic Alexander. Global Pass on the near side of Lady Boomerang. They're neck and neck as they race up towards the finish. It's going to be very tight. Lady Boomerang on the inside. And going for a daring run up the inside and getting it is Lady Boomerang. It looks open with a furling and a half to go and Lady Boomerang has worked her way through the field to pick it up which challenging on the near side the blue cap of Global Pass. These two press on from Spanish Soprano who's running on and then comes Mnemonic Alexander. Global Pass on the near side of Lady Boomerang. They're neck and neck as they race up towards the finish. It's going to be very tight. Lady Boomerang on the inside of Global Pass and they moved on from Mnemonic Alexander and then Spanish Soprano and Cadenel. They're racing on to the final two furlongs and it's Gustavus Vass and Brazos. Brazos on the near side, hits the front, takes over the lead from Gustavus Vass. Exchange rate is staying on. And then Tudor City, Law Girl is next, racing inside the final furlong in the KWD Kingdom Gold Cup and it's Brazos and Danny Redmond. Flashing home is exchange rate. Brazos on the inside of exchange rate. Brazos! They're racing on to the final two furlongs. And it's Gustavus Vass and Brazos. Brazos on the near side. Hits the front. Takes over the lead from Gustavus Vass. Exchange rate is staying on. And then Tudor City, Law Girl is next, racing inside the final furlong in the KWD Kingdom Gold Cup. And it's Brazos and Danny Redmond. Flashing home is exchange rate. Brazos on the inside of exchange rate. Brazos! And exchange rate, who was closing with every stride. Then Gustavus Vasse and Tudor City is fourth. Behind these is for pleasure. On the inside, Gavin Ryan as weakening is Summer's Dream and Marlborough Sounds in the middle of the track with Wishing Star. Off the elbow with less than two to go. Divine Approach with for pleasure the rail. On the outside, challenging in the red jacket is Rocker Bill. Not much between these three. They've gone on from Wishing Star and Marlborough Sounds and it's for pleasure. Gavin Ryan against the rail is now dueling it out with Rocker Bill and Shane Cross on the near side. It's another one for the judge. Rocker Bill on the near side of for pleasure. Behind these is for pleasure. On the inside, Gavin Ryan as weakening is Summer's Dream and Marlborough Sounds in the middle of the track with Wishing Star. Off the elbow with less than two to go. Divine Approach with for pleasure the rail. On the outside, challenging in the red jacket is Rocker Bill. Not much between these three. They've gone on from Wishing Star and Marlborough Sounds and it's for pleasure. Gavin Ryan against the rail is now dueling it out with Rocker Bill and Shane Cross on the near side. It's another one for the judge. Rocker Bill on the near side of for pleasure. Wishing Star has just taken the third from Divine Approach, then Marlborough Sounds and Cash Queen. Well in control, heading on towards the final two furlongs as Mary Sun has moved into a remote second ahead of Verney Boy. And racing now to the final furling and a half, it is Wicklow Brave and Patrick Mullins 
a long, long way clear of Mary's son, who's opened up an advantage over Vernie Boy, who's now trailing by some distance. But it's Wicklow Brave set to complete a hat-trick of festival wins for Patrick and Willie Mullins in the colours of the Wicklow Bloodstock Ireland Limited. Well in control, heading on towards the final two furlongs as Mary's son has moved into a remote second ahead of Vernie Boy. And racing now to the final furling and a half, it is Wicklow Brave and Patrick Mullins, a long, long way clear of Mary's son, who's opened up an advantage over Vernie Boy, who's now trailing by some distance. But it's Wicklow Brave set to complete a hat-trick of festival wins for Patrick and Willie Mullins in the colours of the Wicklow Bloodstock Ireland Limited. And no... Concerns for Wicklow Brave, who beats stable companion Mary's son by a big, big margin, and Vernie Boy, last of the three. At the second last now, Acton Time takes over in front, heads Das Musa, then Black Scorpion. Tis a mystery is next down to the final fence, and it's Acton Time in front, chased to the last by Black Scorpion, weakening is Das Musa, and then Tis a mystery, the final fence coming up, Acton Time over. Two in front with Black Scorpion, now drawing level on the near side, and Black Scorpion has cut back Acton Time as they run up towards the finish. Acton Time is coming, fighting back on the inside, and Acton Time. Time is back to win it. At the second last now, Acton Time takes over in front, heads Das Musa, then Black Scorpion. Tis a mystery is next down to the final fence, and it's Acton Time in front, chased to the last by Black Scorpion, weakening is Das Musa, and then Tis a mystery, the final fence coming up, Acton Time over. Two in front with Black Scorpion, now drawing level on the near side, and Black Scorpion has cut back Acton Time as they run up towards the finish. Acton Time is coming, fighting back on the inside side and Acton Time is back to win it from Black Scorpion. Das Musa is third and then presenting Mahler, Tis a Mystery and last Sam King. Staying on on the outside of Black Jewel at the second last in his theatre dreams. Rachel Blackmore going on again, racing down to the final fence from just a normal day. Neddy Vaughan and then Queen Khaleesi and Black Jewel ahead of Port Rashid and Oyer though from the back ahead of Dabro Nabuena down to the final fence and his theatre dreams and Rachel Blackmore at the last from just a normal day and Kira Daffy. Neddy Vaughan on the near side and Jody McGarvey and Queen Khaleesi between horses for Cohen Landers racing into the closing stages Theater Dreams is holding them and Theater Dreams has made just about all to beat Neddy Vaughan staying on on the outside of Black Jewel at the second last and his Theater Dreams Rachel Blackmore going on again racing down to the final fence from just a normal day Neddy Vaughan and then Queen Khaleesi and Black Jewel ahead of Port Rashid and Oyer though from the back ahead of Dabro Nabuena down to the final fence and his Theater Dreams and Rachel Blackmore at the last from just a normal day in Kira Daffy, Neddy Vaughan on the near side and Jody McGarvey and Queen Khaleesi between horses for Cohen Landers racing into the closing stages. Theatre Dreams is holding them and Theatre Dreams has made just about all to beat Neddy Vaughan. Close for the third, just a normal day and a running on Oyer Dove and then Queen Khaleesi. Has been pulled up. Off the course, as it's Cap Dubois in front of Palace Genry in the plodding shed. And then comes Wonder of the World, coming down towards the final fence, the 15th and final fence in the concluding Killarney Oaks Hotel Beginner's Chase. And it's Cap Dubois, Ruby Walsh at the final fence, safely over from Palace Genry. Running on as Wonder of the World, and no more to give the plodding shed. And up towards the finish, it is Cap Dubois, driven out by Ruby Walsh, and doubles Willie Mullins' as winners on the evening. Cap Dubois wins the last, has been pulled up off the course as it's Cap Dubois in front of Palace Genry in the plodding shed and then comes Wonder of the World coming down towards the final fence, the 15th and final fence in the concluding Killarney Oaks Hotel Beginner's Chase and it's Cap Dubois, Ruby Walsh at the final fence safely over from Palace Genry running on as Wonder of the World and no more to give the plodding shed and up towards the finish it is Cap Dubois driven out by Ruby Walsh and doubles Willie Mullins as winners on the evening. Cap Dubois Bar wins the last from Palace Genry and Wonder of the World. A long way clear of the plodding shed. I used to love her once in the final finishers treasure chest.